Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. We are very lucky today. We have a, uh, a nice Longines Hydra Conquest that's uh, been very kindly loaned to the channel by uh, a friend of mine called uh, Matty S. Uh, he's uh, not got a YouTube account uh, or you know doesn't run videos but uh, he does have an Instagram account. I'm going to leave a, a link uh, in the description so if you would pop over and give him a follow I would really appreciate that and thank you very much Matt for uh, sending this in for us to have a look at now we did have a look at a Longines Hydra Conquest uh, a few videos ago which was the the bigger one the 44 this is the 41 the new one with the ceramic bezel and I have to say that there is uh, a lot of small differences that make into a very big difference indeed now there was a few things on the uh, the original that uh, that I said I didn't like. I know it's subjective, but this different thing altogether. So this is the box. Uh, it does have an outer box, which is this one here. Uh, but you didn't want to see me open that thing up. Uh, but yeah, this uh, nice kind of soft touch. One of those things that shows uh, every finger mark that you can possibly think of. Uh, but yeah, nice soft on the top, nicely padded on the inside. And there is your watch. And uh, as you can see, it's a diver's watch. Those of you that, uh, well, most of you, I'm sure, know the Hydra Conquest. And uh, this is the uh, the new version with the ceramic bezel insert. And it's also got uh, a movement which uh, I believe was specifically uh, developed uh, for this watch. And we'll get to that shortly. First of all, we will do as we usually do. We'll get some dimensions out of the way. Uh, we have a case size between the 8 and the 2 of 41 millimetres, 45.5 from the 9 o'clock to the outside of the crown. We have a lug to lug of 50.5, and as you can see, those centre links are female, so it is it does actually stay at that distance. Uh, where we have a lug width of 21 millimetres. Yes, I know, I can hear you groaning. Because I did. Uh, but, you know, one of the small things, if I have a gripe about this, 21 mil, what's that all about? But still, there we go. Um, well, we have an overall weight of 180 grams. And that is with one link removed uh, to size it for me. Everything, as you can see, is 316L stainless steel with a mixture of brushed surfaces and polished surfaces. Uh, you can see here we've got brushing around the outside. We're just moving a bit closer because we're going to take a look at that dial in a mo. And uh, that's really, really nicely done. Very, very nicely brushed. A high polished end to that screw down signed crown. And the uh, very specific, very long jeans uh, crown guards which uh, I actually said to uh, said to Matty that I didn't like them because I felt they were a bit on the big side. And then he, uh, he actually pointed out to me that if you uh, turn the watch on its side, either way, that way, or that way, probably that way, that the uh, the lugs and the crown are the Longines logo. So I guess they can be cool again. Yeah, I, I, I like them. Uh, they just, they're a bit big, but that's just my own personal preferences as you can see we've got some brushing on the top of the lugs brushing on the outside of the bracelet high polished center links uh, if i'm honest high polished center links isn't my favorite thing only for the fact that they are a bit of a fingerprint magnet uh, having a look at this dial as you can see we've got that absolutely stunning sunray gray dial i mean if somebody said to me they were having a, a gray watch i would kind of kind of frown a little and question it but when you see this thing in person it really is really stunning and you've got those applied circular indices running around the outside with your minute track and the 12 6 and 9 arabics and a framed date window at the three o'clock which is in white and i don't actually mind it on this i think it looks okay the uh, Longines uh, script at the top is printed. The Longines logo is applied. Automatic 30 bar, 300 meters, just above the six o'clock. And then just below that, we have Swiss made. We have a 120 click unidirectional dive time bezel 
with uh, which is stainless steel on the outside and a ceramic insert and there are no smooth bits if you remember on the other one or for those of you that know the hydro conquest used to have those smooth bits there which were a bit of a nightmare so let's have a listen from a feel point of view it's it's got a good resistance to it uh, zero back play and it lines up with all the markers nicely and then when we get back to the 12 there we go and I have you just put some smudgy finger marks on there so we will do what we can to remove those uh, the movement in this, uh, as I was saying, it was a movement that was developed specifically for this watch. Um, now, it's the uh, the Caliber L888, and it vibrates at 25,200 vibrations per hour, or 7 beats per second, which is unusual, but that does give it a 72-hour power reserve. And... Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run the little time graph for app sequence and uh, we can have a look and we can see where this this with this uh, new newly developed movement is uh, is sitting see how it's doing so I'll see you on the other side of that bit So there you go. It was showing plus 10 seconds a day. Um, over you know, running this for a few days, it actually it was working out to around about an average of plus five, uh, which is incredibly good. Uh, it's pretty close to being within COSC uh, certification territory. Uh, beat error of 0.5 milliseconds. So no dramas there. As you can see, we've got that nice smooth sweep of the seconds hand. Um, even though it's kind of one, one tick a second less, it's, it doesn't really show very much. So that's pretty good. Uh, those hands are very specific to uh, the Longines Hydro Conquest and they are highly polished with uh, loom filling. And we will have a look at the loom shortly. Uh, going back to the bracelet, 21 mil, and it tapers down to around just over 19 mil. At the clasp which has a signed lock and keeper and it is just a friction fit and then we have a long jean signed milled out clasp and then we have that uh, there we go that pretty iconic long jeans logo in the center and then hydro conquest and your serial number all stainless steel swiss made water resistant to 30 bar uh, that is obviously screw down solid end links. I mean, you're going to expect that with something like this. Um, and the uh, the bracelet on this is actually I. I mean, the last one that I had had the uh, the H the old H link bracelet. Uh, it uh, I kind of had a semi semi brushed set of center links on that, um, as opposed to high polished, which I think I preferred. Uh, but that's just down to personal choice. You know, this is, uh, I mean, it is an incredibly well machined bracelet. They are solid end links. They are just push pins, though. Um, and uh, as far as I know, they are not pin and collar. Um, but yes, those, uh, the case profile is very nice. You've got the downturn in the lugs there. So it does conform to the wrist really nicely and i think the fact that this one is 41 as opposed to the 44 that i had before i mean it really does wear quite well uh, if you uh, have another look if you like at the uh, the beginning of this you can see it on my uh, seven and three quarter inch wrist right let's do a loom shot and then we will uh, we will start to wrap this up we will give it a quick charge it shouldn't need too much it does have the uh, Swiss Super Lumen over. Um, the loom on the previous one that I had was a bit disappointing. Uh, this 
does not suffer from that problem. That is incredibly bright and it does last, absolutely lasts throughout the night. You know, four, five, six hours and you can still tell the time and the, uh, the application of it is very even and the loom pip is a slightly darker blue. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, very, very nicely done. And uh, for some reason I've changed the colour of my light and I didn't want to do that. But yes, there we go. Longines Hydro Conquest. The serial number for this is the L37814767. And uh, the current retail price in the UK is uh, 1,300 GBP. And I actually think that, that is, uh, that's a, a cracking price for a really, really cool watch. I really, really like this. You know, in terms of what I don't like, I'm still not a massive fan of those crown guards, if I'm honest, even if they do make up the long jeans logo. But, you know, that's just my choice. And a, a, a polished centre links on a diver isn't something that I, I don't think that I would have. But the watch overall is, uh, is uh, really, really well made. Very high quality finishing. Very, very nice indeed. Thank you again, Matty S., for sending it into the channel. If you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel, there is a giveaway that's running at this very moment. And uh, upon reaching a thousand subscribers or just over a thousand subscribers, I am going to be giving away a Satina DS Podium. Uh, so go and check that video out if uh, this is the first time that you're uh, seeing this channel. And uh, go and enter that. Most definitely subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and uh, all the other stuff, the good things that go with that. But that's it for now. The Longines Hydra Conquest. Thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.